Hello, this is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer. I want to take a look at the 2019 enhancements for SOLIDWORKS MBD, model-based definition. So one of my favorite enhancements this year is that we've now got the ability to go deeper with sheet metal within MBD. So right here within the model, I can right click on the flat pattern folder and we can choose to insert the bin notes. And then SOLIDWORKS is going to tell us that it's going to create an annotation view and a derived configuration in order to be able to show those bin notes on the flattened state. It rotates it around and there we see that we've got those bin notes showing the direction, the angle, and the inside radius. So uh, for traditional 2D drawings, that looks pretty good, but I think on the models, it's a little best served to go ahead and insert a bin table. So choose the table in the format that we like, and it will hang that table on our mouse cursor, and then it converts all the notes on the specific bins over into uh, just an alphanumeric heading. Now we can come in and capture a 3D view, choose our display state, and now we can cycle back and forth between our 3D views that we've got captured. So a nice uh, pictorial view here showing some uh, notes, and then we can flip right back over into our flat pattern configuration and show that as well. Up in the toolbar for MBD, you can see that we shorten the name on it, and then we change the DIM expert name over to MBD Dimensions. Some more examples of our model-based definition in action. We can see that we've got note views as well as you know something like geometric tolerancing frames. We can switch between our different 3D views that have been captured. And then when we get ready to publish our 3D PDF, we can see some of the additional enhancements. So we can select which of the templates that we want to work with. And that shows us a graphical preview right here within the window. You'll also notice for 2019 that not all the views are automatically populated here under the primary and thumbnail views. We can simply select into that selection box, right mouse button and choose add all captured views. SOLIDWORKS MBD will show us a preview of what those are going to look like, and then we're able to select additional options. Things like which custom properties match to which fields within our templates. And you can see copy properties to all pages as an option there. Underneath our accuracy area, you can see a new option that is show only graphical data. This is great whenever we want to work with, say, a, a new vendor. Maybe we're not quite ready to give them a full BREP data model, but we want them to be able to see what we're talking about. This also works great whenever you're dealing with customer and vendor relationships. An additional option that we have in 2019 is the security settings. By invoking this, we can choose whether we're going to disable the printing of the 3D PDF, editing, or copying of that. We can set if there needs to be a password in order to open the 3D PDF. We simply type in a password confirm that password. And then there's also a master password for the 3D PDF. And that way we want to change any of the options. We can set that for our security scheme. After clicking the green uh, check mark and allowing the PDF file to be created, we can open up that PDF in our uh, favorite viewer. So I'm using Acrobat Reader DC. And whenever I open that file up, I'm asked to key in the password that was previously set. This is how we set the, uh, the permissions of who can view, who can print, copy, or edit the file. We can even see that security scheme over in the permission details within our uh, PDF viewer. If this is your first time taking a look at MBD, you'll see this is one of the formats that can be done. Have a lot of flexibility on what type of title block uh, information that's added, what kind of notations which of the uh, views that are populated. And you can see we can cycle through that and help the consumer of the, uh, the design intent and the information walk through the process. But at any point in time, this is a dynamic 3D view and we're able to uh, maneuver that, zoom in and understand you know, the product manufacturing information, the PMI as needed. This is Tandy Banks with Go Engineer. Thank you for taking a look at the enhancements to SOLIDWORKS MBD for 2019.